Welcome back to Arcane Cretaceous Challenge. It is a new month. We have a new contract. Scientist training should be quite doable. We have a fair bit of points in reserve. Genetically modified is quite the reward, but it is conditional on us actually wanting those dinosaurs, kind of. And newer research could easily be a trap with something costing a significant portion of the reward, I assume. So we'll do this. We need to have staff at your level of competence, or better. Plus one logistics. What a joke. Uh, nobody's currently available, but we'll find somebody to take a point of logistics when they do come up. Our feeder's infected in here. We got Jeeps heading over to look at it. Uh, Piscivor feeder, good to go. Let's get that down. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy feeder. Just put it right there. Let's get this baryonyx woken up. Oh, he wanted a little bit of forest, didn't he? I think he did. Yes, a fair bit of forest, actually. Why don't we go ahead and thread some forest through the back part here, like that? Kind of ring in the waterway like this, with the rock in the front and the forest in the back. That is an interesting vibe, I think, personally. If you ask me, I think that's an interesting vibe. Let's uh, let's bring it out a little deeper into the water, like that. A little bit of a swamp vibe there in the back. Okay, so he's getting moved. He is cranky with me. We do need to set up the other stuff here in this enclosure, like the gate. And we need the ranger station, I assume. I assume none of the other ones are in range. Yes. We'll put the ranger station... I think we'll put it here. Okay. So that's taken care of. These research projects are done in a couple of seconds. One. Two. Medical team. Oh, um, yeah, we should assign you. And assign you. Oh, then we can't do that. Okay, let's unassign over here. I feel like the carnivores have bigger issues because of the feeders anyway, so having the four carnivores assigned to that's not bad. Okay, medical team goes like that. Uh, and then let's get the other berry. We already selected our egg. Six points cheaper with positive. Oh, um, hold on, hold on. Logistics. Probably just you. Okay, so cheaper with logistics. Is, or no, positive influence, right? That's what I was thinking, yeah. I think I might have fucked that up, actually, because that guy had genetics. Well, whatever. Um, limbo! Assign. Nope, these guys all have genetics. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't fuck it up. I did it right. I did it right. All right there's that. I only have room for the best when it comes to my team. Medical team, I need your help. Oh, do they have hookworms? Can I not? Oh, I can't treat them. Or can I? Yes, yes, I understand. I know it's a new mode, but you don't have to tell me how the game works every time. Oh, no, they're good. Okay, everything's great. Everything's great. Okay. Um, refuel. Fill you up. How's my berry going? You're going good. One minute. The other one is ready. No source of hookworms. What? Did it do auto... Wait, did hookworms research automatically? I thought every disease you had to research manually. Wait. Uh, that's a bug. That's a bug. We didn't research hookworms, but we just treated hookworms. Very curious. Very curious. Can't do that now while that person's resting. Okay. Well, we'll still research hookworms. Um, we don't want to be cheaters now, do we? 
Oh, uh, shit, don't attack my fence. Are you happy? Oh, you're great. You're fantastic now. Beautiful boy. Very happy in his pen. Look at him. He's so happy. Looks pretty good. The berry looks pretty good in this game now in general. Um, I think the eyes are pretty different on these ones. Is one of the big differences. Shit! Fuck! No! Ah, oh, I clicked the wrong button. No, pause! Pause! Fucking pause! Capture team, run! Ah! Fuck! Panic mode. Uh, sedate all my... Okay, the Serratos are all the way over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I so close in on the park? Why? Let me, let me zoom out. Eagle eye view, please. Thank you. There we go. I have to hit the map button, and then it stops being locked to the ground. Cool. Serratos are all hiding in this corner right now. Actually, we might be able to just, just fine here. Just sedate it, just sedate it, just sedate it really quickly. Oh my god, I fucked up. Don't run that way, you idiot! God damn it. Fuck. S hit him, you shit! Stop! Okay. Fuck. Go. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Keep the Serratos distracted. Keep him distracted. He's already in the air. He's going up. He's going. He's going. Okay, I think we're fine. Don't sedate my Serratos, please. You've done a good job. I appreciate you, but you can stop. He's in the air. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. We're good. Everything's fine. We're good. 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 Okay. Um, long lived. Uh, yeah, we'll just take this one. No more aggressive, please. Don't disrupt my clearly defined alpha. Positive influence. There's the last Baryonyx. So, we're going to probably need 150k for opalize, 90k for snakes. We're probably going to need more shops on the north end of the park, I expect. We'll do the three and get the polycanthus out of here because we're not finishing the copy anyway. Uh, might as well use you. Oh, i got to remember to do mono. 12 genetics. We can do you. Yeah, then we can go out and do a dig as well for more copy with you. Okay, that's not bad. There we go. You made it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Forest need looks good. All right, so there is... The grim skin. I really like the green on this. This looks really nice. That's a really nice vibe. I like it. I like it. Something about the Baryonyx remodel and Jurassic World Evolution 2 in general just looks so good now. I think something about the tail length looks like perfect for some reason. I mean, the head could be a little bit narrower, but you know, it's the Fallen Kingdom Baryonyx. What do you want, right? Finger claws could be bigger, but once again, Fallen Kingdom Baryonyx. What are you going to do about it? But uh, it just looks good. It's a good skin. This is probably probably the best skin of the Baryonyx trio, I think. Although we still have to see the third one. But that looks great. Looks great. Looks great. Um, one to go. Done in 50 seconds. I guess we'll just keep going. How are the Aranos doing over here? They're looking. They're probably good. Oh, we don't have a Jeep over here, do we? Um, nope. Let's toss it out here in the middle. 
And you get assigned to another ranger post. And you can keep an eye on my happy little Arano herd. How are these shops pulling money? They are not. That's the, the answer there. They're just not doing business. Okay, you want, these ones are all dog. Um, I think we'll probably still need more green. 83. 83.5, 83.5, we'll do you. Get a little bit of extra money if we do one of these. I guess we'll do it. Okay, that one seems good anyway. Oh, now these ones are all being bad. Blah! Do, just do an aquarium. Honestly, just do just all of you. I can't I can't babysit you guys constantly shops. I just can't. It's not gonna work for me. It's not gonna work for you. Okay, we'll need another shop another set of shops up here now that the berries are in. I imagine at least. Let's look at our, our views. Yeah, so food, drink, everything is questionable. Toilets are questionable. Uh, shelter's fine. Let's get that put in. Uh, a restroom, can't fit it in there. We can sneak it in past. It's probably not bad. It can cover another leg of the park then over here. Power is gonna be a thing then. Yes, true. Thinking about how I wanna put shops in here. Thinking about how I wanna lay things out in general. Let's try it here like this. Okay, so, medium amenities, food, drink, shopping. So drink should be the first one. Also that gate's gonna be in the way now. This wasn't my original like plan here really, so. We'll just put the gate here on this side. Essentially the same spot, but not blocked by the building if we need to get in there in a hurry. Um, so that was drinks. Now we got shopping and we got food. How do I want to do this? Yeah, shopping first and then food. Because we got a little area way down at the end of the park that's looking for food, which means food is more of a problem throughout the entire middle stretch. Uh, aquarium with a uh, skeleton display. Call it good. Okay, this pylon's going to be in the way. Maybe not, actually. It might have been okay. But let's get the amenity in here first. Food amenity, medium, right here. Uh, how about steaks? Aquarium. Skeleton display. And put the power line back in. So, power line. Oh, nope, it just barely fits there anyway. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, that'll cover all that.
release via airlift this time. Let's put you down here by the woods to start with to make sure we keep those trees in the territory. And there's our last Baryonyx. All right, we can synth something new. So what are we waiting? Kentro, of course. Uh, Compi is finishing up. Everything else is in the park. So let's modify our Kentros now, get those coming. Of course, Pierce size large. So these are larger than the other Kentros by actually a pretty hefty margin. They're like Stegosaur sized. Uh, weak, because there's nothing we can do about that. They already start out high social chance. Now we'll push for as much long lived as we can. Do we want to, maybe we just, um, yeah, let's put in one chant, a pip of humble to try and get a humble alpha and then 50% long lived. And then we get the quenched. I think that's fine. Pierce. Yep. Cheaper synth with, I guess it has to be you really overdoing it. So there's no reason to use cheaper synth because these guys are dog cheap also. All right, there's that. You get rested. When synthesis is done, we should actually get the monolotho research done. I've been sleeping on that a little bit too much. Our expedition's still running. Okay, we don't really need cross species. No, I would like tolerance. We can do it when a guy is back. Can't do it now. Uh, power upgrades available? Yes, nine logistics. So we just need to put a point into somebody. Basically, whoever we put the point in is going to be exhausted, so I don't think it really matters. We'll do it on him. Let's do power upgrades. That way we have that ready whenever we need it. There we go. Okay, so Kentro Batch will be done in almost no time. Yeah, I guess we'll synth the Kentro. We'll get that out. Then we'll get the mono research done. If we, uh, assuming we have the people available to do this, actually. Five eggs, one week. Take them all. For welfare. Sure. Well. Yeah, she's only got one point left. I was thinking about, so at some point we'll need to obviously increase the skill of the scientist again, which means we want to save some points on people to make sure we have enough logistics. But we're going to be using five and a five and any two, and this two has a point left anyway. So we're fine. We can get the 13, 14 at least. Well, I say we're fine. That's not necessarily true. We're just not any worse off than we would have been otherwise. 14, we need 16. Oh, but it's four, so we're good. It's four scientists now on that tier, so it's fine. Yeah. So give me some Kentros. That's you. Begin the task. And what else do we need for the park? Capacity's good. Guests. Ratings are good. Amenities. 98. And 100 so the minis are good so yeah the park is ticking on all cylinders now now it's just a matter of adding more species and maybe mitigating overcrowding at some point but and just making sure these guys are good for how they are oh maybe we should be pushing brocky here too uh anyway let's check out baronics number three limbo he's in the shadow but yeah he's the brown one the green one, I think, is the best. 
Not that any of them are necessarily bad. I always liked the colorization of the Baryonyx in general, like in Fallen Kingdom and in Camp Cretaceous. It's got a cool two-tone pattern without it just being counter shading on the belly, which I thought was cool. And then just the patterning and the scales. Always, I always liked it. I always liked the croc scoots on the back. I thought that was an acceptable embellishment for a Baryonyx, honestly. I was fine with that crap. Uh, excuse me, where? Photograph dinos. Tickets. Uh, we'll do the photo. We'll see if it works. What, what, where do you not... Oh, there's no gate here. I understand. I understand. I understand. Um, how about a gate right here where there's, like, a path? That's perfect. Hey, take a look at this next objective. Photograph a dinosaur eating. Actually quite viable. I'd do it, but I have you. That one might be heading right towards the feeder. It's, a ni it's nice being back in a jungle park, too. We've been doing challenge modes and stuff for so long that we haven't been in the nice jungle that we're, that we're used to. Go eat! Go eat from the feeder. Or a goat. Or anything. There's a goat. Anybody want to eat that goat? Although I wonder if them eating the goat, they like swallow it whole. They eat it so fast, I wonder if it'll count. It's fun to watch them like this, though. Are you going to go eat? You looked at it? No. Nope. We got all four Carnos in frame. That's probably some good money, huh? Yeah, 100k. All right. Fossils. 90k rhodium. 90k rhodium. Shark. Shark. 130, 130, 130. There's the rhodium. Uh, copy. 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 Uh, pull you out. Pull you in. 29, 35. Should be done. The last one should be the last 3%. We'll grab you. We'll get you rested. And then when the fossils are done and this guy's rested, we can finally do that monolofo research we've been putting off, I think. Are you feeding? You might be feeding. Keep fishing, my dude. Keep fishing. Keep fishing if you're fishing. No, no, no. Okay, well, what we should do is we should look at them. Yeah, none of the carnals are especially hungry. Wrong tab. Wait. Wait, what? Why don't I remember where tab is? Oh, because it's this one. God. Can't tell what your food need is. Oh, there's a hungry Serato here. And dying. dying from hunger I guess so if we go ahead we should put the meat feeder in here probably just to mitigate the hunger issues which can always be a thing so we put that down we jump in our Jeep and we spin over there as soon as we can to try and get a picture run that Colonel's gonna be running for that meat feeder ASAP I say, I'm saying that too much today. Some days it's like something just sticks in your head and suddenly every third sentence is ASAP and it's awful. Photo mode, photo mode, photo mode, photo mode, photo mode. Get a photo of that guy looking for food, not eating, need eating, not looking for food. Eating, eating. 
Looking for food. Looking for food. We'll submit it anyway in case it counts. Oh god, oh god. But don't don't miss out on the eating. Eating from a feeder. Bingo. Nice shot. Bingo. Okay, Kentrosaurs. Ground fiber. They like ground fiber. Do you like ground fiber or were you ground leaf? Ground leaf. What about you, Paras? What were you guys rocking? Ground nut. But it's a large enclosure. I think we'll put the Kentros in with the Paras. Then we'll put the Ankies in here. Because we can always move the Kentros over. We're going to probably wait for daylight to check these dudes out. We'll get the enclosure put in properly, but then we'll do the finer inspection of the model in daylight. The way I see it, there are dog people and cat people. And then there's a raptor person. Me. And how are your margins? Anyway, you your margins are great. Like, like really good, actually. Are you stuck in the corner? No. Maybe? No, you're fine. The, the base dinos don't seem to be too buggy. They seem pretty good. Okay, I can't help but notice that multiple Cerratos are, like, starving, apparently. Is the goat feeder bugged? No, there's a goat. Oh, no, that's not a goat. That's a thing. Dispense once now. Usage unused? Maybe they were too far away? I don't know. Too far away for it to trigger? No, whatever. It's fine now. I do like this, like, Serato herd. It's really nice. It's really cool. Okay, but anyway, uh, resting is done. Fossils are almost done. What's the visibility down here like? Because we need to make sure the where we put the stuff for the Kentros are visible. It looks like we could probably put it in right here. Um, ah, we'll thread it in throughout, I think, actually. All right, let's get the monos. Yeah, it just has to be you. Okay, Monolofa research going. Copies are done. Uh, I think we're gonna sit till the mono research is done though. Because we need to. Um... Like, there's nothing to dig up. Well, we could send some copies, actually. Well, there's there's the Kentro, first peak. We'll take another better look in daylight. I mean, I like it. I like this Kentro. It's really big, which is probably the largest problem with it. But I, I like it more than the other one, I think. Um. Anyway. Some forest and some ground fiber. Yeah, so there's like no forest in here actually, but the forest needs relatively low. I don't really like the forest being in the river like that. We'll have to do some play around here, probably, to get this to work out correctly. Oh, see, now the paras need more open space. They have more ground nut than they need, too. is another of those spiky back dinosaurs. Closer. Hmm.
dinosaur that relied on intimidation to keep the predators at bay. And failing that, a gift of... Cool meal to catch and chew. They need a lot of ground fiber. Okay, they have more than enough forest. Might be able to make this work. Well, they don't because the other ones aren't on the ground yet, huh? Well, this was never going to work with the galleys or anything either, then. Wait. We're close, actually. We're close. This is really close. We also could extend the enclosure this way. Okay, we're really close. Just more ground fiber. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't oppose to doing something like this. It's kind of unused space anyway. Okay, they'll be happy. Are the paras happy? We did add to their territory by bringing in the water. Okay, cool, so this works. This is a viable enclosure. It's like complete effectively, but that's fine. We got our pierces and our, our paraluxes, which is an interesting combo for enclosure too. I think I like it. I think that's a cool, cool little enclosure here. Paras and Kentros. Even though they have nothing to do with each other in the context of anything in Jurassic, but the Kentro doesn't really interact with anything but the Rex anyway, so that's fine. Uh, missing a little bit of ground fiber again, you weirdos. Yeah, it's pretty tight, but... We're, we're okay. It's actually, we have a little bit more um, para stuff that we need. So we can probably do that. Give me the, I don't want the Kentro, I want this para. Yeah, they still have more ground up than they need. So that's a good place to make up for that. Forest is at a minimum, but it's central, it should be fine. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll check them a few times and everything and make sure they're good. Uh, let's check out the Kentro here. More. Looks good. I like it. The Kentro design's pretty solid for Camp Cretaceous. I like the, the way you get the striping on the body. Much more interesting body than the Stegos usually have in Jurassic movies. Also, it's just cool for them to put another uh, Thyria Foreign into a Jurassic film. Or a Jurassic franchise thing. Uh visual jurassic franchise media let's say so i was pretty happy to see the country just for that reason same reason i was kind of happy to see like the arano in the mono is they're just filling in these kind of gaps in dinosaur diversity in the franchise that was really nice yeah i like it i dig it i think i'm much more inclined to include kentrosaurus in parks in the future because of the skin even though it's like insanely oversized it's still pretty cool looking it's just a good dino design ultimately i think 100%, 100%, cool. Okay, so they're looking good. Mono research is done as well. So let's go out and take a quick peek here at the Monolophosaurus big site, and then we'll probably call it an episode. Mono, where is Monolo from? Is it an American species? Like Dilopho? I have no idea. Or is it Asian? Wait, I have a feeling now that maybe it's Asian. It is Asian, isn't it? I actually think it is. Yeah, 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 I think it is. Yep. Monolophosaurus. 
Is that the only dig site for it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not actually related to Dilo or anything. Plus, early Jurassic was probably Supercontinent or close to Supercontinent times two. Anyway, uh, motivated person, go do the dig. You get rested. Let's synth some compies, I suppose. Where do we want to put compies? The large carnos ignore them, right? I think they do. So we can put compies in with the carnos or the serratos, and I think it's fine. Oh, do they count as large, though? Hmm. Let me, I'm going to do some quick, you know what, I'll do some between episodes research to figure out where we're going to put the copies, but we can get them simping anyway. Um, copy, 91%, not complete, yes. True. Okay, there's no rush to get the copies in, so we're not going to put them in yet. We're going to go ahead and just do some research and stuff then. Uh, let's get cross species. This will be potentially useful for some of the other herbivores when they come up. We're just going to send these guys. I'm not, I no longer care about money. That, that ship has sailed. Uh, large amenities we can't do. Uh, oh, yeah, hookworms. Let's get hookworms going. Cheaper research person can do hookworms. Uh, let's upgrade fences. That's something you can do. All right, so there's a bunch of research tasks running. Uh, and we'll call it an episode here until next time.